up switching them gears. In the foreign, I'm switching them gears. You ain't notice my truck in the front. And they put the engine in the rear. Shawty think I'ma hit it like this. Drive itself, no, I don't need to steer. Holy pull up, I take off to his clear. You ain't notice my truck in the front. And they put the engine in the rear. In the foreign, I'm switching them gears. You ain't notice my truck in the front. And they put the engine in the rear. Shawty think I'ma hit it like this. Drive itself, no, I don't need to steer. Holy pull up, I take off to his clear. You ain't notice my truck in the front. And they put the engine in the rear. Diamonds, yeah, you seeing it clear. My driver crazy, she still want me to steer. You wanna see it, bitch, just look in the mirror. My hit it once, but then I'm gonna disappear. Really thinking about the times I was broke. Now I'm counting money like a cashier. Better drink twice before running up. I got the coolie, but I'm no engineer. Working hard every day, hope it pay off. Shoot a trophy, I feel like I wanna play off. Brody shoot his arm and it comes straight off. Nigga, cut my brother, then you know I'm bringing chaos. You and that pay us. Used to be broke, I feel like I wasn't able. Ain't no TV, ain't no used to have no cable. God got my back, so I know a nigga able. 100 racks and 100 grand. On the table, I'll be Mabel. Now my brody, so don't ask me for no favors. So much up, I can pull out different flavors. Head up, block is on, all I see is motivators. Been grinding all day, I'm a pro skater. Should've known you was a traitor. I just wanna hit it once to call you later. She wanna kiss, but I ain't jaded. She like a dragon in the bed, so I slayed her. I might just let her work my chains and enslave her. I cut her off about the things that I gave her. Ice on my wrist, had to go and buy the glacier. Running out for money all day, trying to chase her. I shot the world, had to go and get a taser. I got a Glock and it came with a laser. Hit out the bottle, I don't ever need no chaser. In the foreign, I'm switching them gears. You ain't notice my truck in the front. And they put the engine in the rear. Shawty think I'ma hit it like deer. Drive itself, no, I don't need to steer. Holy pull up, I take off till it's clear. You ain't notice my truck in the front. And they put the engine in the rear. In the foreign, I'm switching them gears. You ain't notice my truck in the front. And they put the engine in the rear. Shawty think I'ma hit it like deer. Drive itself, no, I don't need to steer. Holy pull up, I take off till it's clear. You ain't notice my truck in the front. And they put the engine in the rear. Today, from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, this is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. They met in back-to-back -back Super Bowls in the 90s, and they're together again. The Cowboys and Bills are underway. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. down and they're going to throw with Allen. There's the former Cowboy, Cole Beasley. In the middle of the field, but he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. And they're going to get about three here out of this first. Our bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can end the enemy territory. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Forcing the incompletion on that attempt. 
On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there. Third and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Solid running on the carry, but second and two. Elliott, toss right. And they will over your best blocker. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Dances by him. Looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. First down, he located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll get, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around, so the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Second down at 12 at the 19-yard line. The give is to Elliott. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the band. Whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes back that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team. They tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. I'm going to be correct, but I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Efficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you. Here's Allen. A triumph for Sanders, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy deep 10-0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. So that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, it's complete to Diggs. Boys, 40. And again, it's Allen. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. To heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And Sanders has got it. Tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. First and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. To the air, Allen. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Second and goal from the six this time. Here's Allen to throw it. He will find Diggs. 
Lions in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got some. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Pollard to return from the end zone. And it's got it first and 10. They hand off to their big tight ends that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Now on second and 13, Prescott able to hit his target Lamb. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And it'll bring up a fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. The offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. They go right back to Singletary. Allen gonna throw. A quick throw gonna be caught by Diggs. And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stays. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got the hook up with Dig. Plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Shaken up down there on the field. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Allen's throw caught by Sanders. Rifle in there and hope for the best. Throwing is Allen on third. And he will go down. Last time this afternoon. The call for a fair catch. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here. A little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches are looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, the head of the chains now, second and two. A give to Elliott. And this has been a familiar sight over. They're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it. Time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Prescott on first down. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Dak dropping this one off. You pick up the guys downfield, and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. On third down, Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down. It's in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four. It hasn't been his best game overall, so I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out, or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? All right. The Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he's got 
this right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. On second down, Elliott. A pickup of a back. Taken down at the 31. 30 seconds left to go. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. A handoff left to Elliott. Who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? The old